here after Portland police shot and killed a man. Patrick Kimmon's mother still fighting for officers to change their use of force protocol. And his family held a rally tonight in his honor and Arvelina Jones spoke to his mother. And this isn't the first time she's spoken out about changes she'd like to see, right, Valina? That's exactly right, Jeff and Jennifer. You know, over the past year, his mother, Aletha Winston, at one point was holding weekly rallies just a couple blocks away from where we are right now over at City Hall, demanding that the city and officers here at the Portland Police Bureau reevaluate the way they respond to calls and their use of force. Today we are here for his one year anniversary. A year after 27-year-old Patrick Timmons was shot and killed by Portland police, his family and friends are still looking for justice. At the same spot, he lost his life, including his mother, Letha Winston. I'm not going to never be able to sleep. It's a year and I've still got anxiety. Investigation into Kimmons' death revealed moments before officers fired at him, Kimmons shot two people during a fight. According to police, Sergeant Gary Britt and Officer Jeffrey Livingston shot Kimmons after they said he was armed and refused to listen to commands. I just need to know. I mean, I know what happened, but I don't understand why the police shot my son nine times. A grand jury ruled that the officers were justified in their actions. Winston, still fighting on her son's behalf, is calling on Mayor Ted Wheeler and the Portland Police Bureau to make changes. We need to come together and retrain their officers about using excessive force. Now, despite that court ruling, Winston is still looking to pursue legal action against those two officers. She wants both of them fired for excessive force. Reporting live in Southwest Portland, Valina Jones, Point Six News. All right, Valina, thank you.